Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. Regarding the matter of restricting the development of enterprises in other countries, the United States has no plans to turn back and is still trying to expand the scope of restrictions and include a large number of semiconductor technologies on the export control list. Among them is the EUV lithography machine. If China wants to obtain this technology, it needs to take the self-research route, continuously accumulate precipitation, and achieve solid accumulation. On the bright side, there are already many scientific research institutions and universities in China that have made breakthroughs. Among them, a university in China announced a technology that pierced the sky, which caused the US media to sigh, how can we sanction it? The country is stepping up the layout of the chip manufacturing industry, and there is more demand for lithography machines. Domestic lithography machines are temporarily unable to enter the 28 nanometers and other chip process production lines, relying on imported ASML lithography machines. Although foreign lithography machines have output and quality assurance, they are prone to getting stuck. ASML's most advanced EUV lithography machine cannot be shipped freely so far, and even the high-end models of DUV lithography machines are restricted from export. Therefore, it is time to recognize the reality. No matter how good foreign equipment is, it is foreign. If you want to master the core technology and break the technological blockade, you have to rely on yourself. But the question is how difficult is it to build an EUV lithography machine? How far is domestic production from mastering this technology? Building an EUV lithography machine is a very complex and difficult task. EUV lithography requires the use of extreme ultraviolet light, EUV, for chip manufacturing, and this wavelength is very short, only 13.5 nanometers. So special mirrors and optical components are required to focus the light and make optical corrections. These components require very high precision and purity. In addition, EUV lithography requires the use of very powerful light sources and control systems to ensure stability and accuracy. EUV lithography technology also needs to solve many other problems, such as photoresist selection, mask manufacturing, lithography machine manufacturing and maintenance, etc. These problems require highly specialized knowledge and skills, and require a lot of time and effort to solve. There is still a certain distance for China to master this technology, but China has made some progress in the research of EUV lithography machine technology. Plasma line technology, which makes DPP UV light source is expected to move from theory to reality. The light source is an important part of the lithography machine because it directly affects the resolution and stability of the EUV lithography machine. EUV lithography machines use light sources at extreme ultraviolet EUV wavelengths which are very short at 13.5 nanometers. So very special techniques are required to generate and control light at this wavelength. In addition, the EUV light source needs to have very high energy and stability to ensure that the lithography machine can work stably and produce high quality chips. The DPP UV light source implemented by Harbin Institute of Technology is the type of light source for EUV lithography machines. This technology generates plasma by injecting gas into a small space and discharging it, and generates EUV light through the plasma. 
DPP EUV light sources can generate high energy and high stability EUV light and are widely used in current EUV lithography machines. Since the DPP EUV light source can achieve high efficiency light generation, it can greatly improve the production efficiency of the EUV lithography machine. Of course, in order to apply this light source technology to practice, other core technologies need to be overcome. After all, the production of a complete lithography machine is very complicated, and it is not possible to generalize the whole by mastering a certain technology. But since the first step can be taken, there will be a second step until the final ice breaking is achieved. Some American media expressed emotion that the United States may not be able to sanction China in the future. China's continuous research and development will surely make greater breakthroughs. Facing the future, China still has a lot to work on. If we want to achieve a breakthrough in the independence of the lithography machine industry, we can start from multiple aspects. The first aspect is to increase investment in the research and development of lithography machine technology, especially the research on key technologies, such as high-energy DPP UV light source, photoresist, lithography machine control system, etc. At the same time, strengthen basic research in related fields of lithography machines, cultivate and attract more talents. The second aspect is to strengthen cooperation with relevant domestic and foreign enterprises, avoid redundant construction and waste of resources, and form a situation of complementary advantages and coordinated development. At the same time, domestic enterprises are encouraged to jointly develop and produce with leading enterprises in order to improve the technical level and market competitiveness of domestic enterprises. The rise of ASML at the beginning was due to the cooperation with TSMC. TSMC helped ASML's lithography machine to verify and provide technical support. Since then, TSMC and ASML have achieved each other. TSMC has become ASML's largest customer, and ASML has also become TSMC's largest lithography machine supplier. The same can be done between domestic manufacturers and domestic lithography machine companies. Technical verification is carried out in the process of developing domestic lithography machines. After the domestic lithography machines are implemented, they can be quickly put into the commercial market and accelerate the industrialization layout. It is hoped that there will be more and more breakthroughs similar to Harbin Institute of Technology's Electric Energy Conversion Plasma Circuit technology, which will contribute to the development of domestic lithography machines. If you agree with the view of our videos, please like it, welcome to Forward, leave a message and share.